What's up, MD? This is IPB Pro, Aaron Clark. And what's up, I'm D, David Murad. I'm three weeks out from the New York Pro. He's seven months out from the Nationals. This guy just won his class, the light heavies, and the overall, and his first show he ever did, the NPC Max Muscle. So watch out for this dude. We're going to crush him back today and some light biceps. So let's kick it. Today we started on doing a little calf raises on the, I like to do them on the hack squat machine, mainly just because um, the longer that I've had lagging calves, I've decided, I, I've really figured out that it's mainly about getting a good stretch and squeeze, not always a lot of exercises, but just the quality of, of the movement and training them very frequently. So I like to oftentimes start my training with a little bit of calves, maybe six to eight sets and uh, get a good pump before I start training the main body part that I'm doing that day. So before I start back training, normally I like to do a short warm up on the uh, the rope pull downs, um, just to kind of fill the lats with blood. Uh, I don't think you should really start uh, pulling very heavy or doing a heavy pull up or pull down before putting a lot of blood in there. Not only because you're risking injury with you know your lats and everything, but for your rotator cuffs and everything, uh, just to kind of put blood in the upper body. I've been starting my back workouts with pull-ups for years, honestly, um, mainly just because for me it's it's pretty much the bread and butter. If I could pick two exercises to train back on for the rest of my life, I would do pull-ups and barbell rows. Um, but pull-ups allow me to get that good stretch and squeeze without um, putting a lot of pressure on my lower back. So that's really why I like to start with them, uh, really kind of open up the last. And I really feel like a lot of people uh, can benefit doing this more, really um, practicing almost opening up their scapula at the bottom of the movement and uh, almost feel like they're hitting a back double bicep pose. Uh, people don't realize the amount of the mind-muscle connection you you develop in your training also transfers to you know, how you pose and look on stage, so it's very important. Next we did some pull downs, we used a narrow grip and with these, I normally alternate between doing these and a more narrow grip pull up. Um, today we did these. I like doing it with these handles because it allows me to have more of a free motion, uh, kind of take the, some of the stress off of the shoulders and, and really help to kind of emphasize the stretch on the lats and to get a good squeeze, get a good pump before I move on to my more heavy rowing movements and such. So. Just another movement to really, uh, you know, squeeze the lats, fill them with blood, uh, bring in that definition and, and get a good pump. And after that, we did the uh, dumbbell rows. I did it single arm. Aaron did it two arms. Uh, when I do it uh, single arms, I uh, feel better. 
uh, squeeze the muscle, help me squeeze the lower lats. I prefer to do my dumbbell rows with two arms uh, for a few reasons. If you watch me train, um, you'll notice that I do use some machines, but I also really like to stick with um, a lot of free weight movements that force me to use my core. And, uh, you know, I feel like this is important to really, you know, for your posture and your core strength. And uh, I mean, I know I'm a bodybuilder, but to just to remain, to, to kind of maintain a small level of functional uh, muscle and strength. So, um, yeah, I'd like to do these. I feel like I get a good stretch at the bottom and I can really contract the lats as if I'm almost doing that pose you do before you hit the lat spread. Um, and I also, I like to do barbell rows too, but the two arm dumbbell rows is, um, you get more of a free motion again, get better stretch, better squeeze for the lats. So I like to do them first. After we do the dumbbell rows, we move over to the barbell rows. Um, these, I really think everybody should be doing these in their back routine for a few reasons. Um, I think that being able to, to use correct form in the barbell row really shows that you have a strong posterior chain. Um, you know, you use good posture and you're able to have that core strength to hold yourself at that nearly 90 degree level and, and really get a good stretch, squeeze, use a decent amount of weight. So. Um, if you're not doing these, <laughs> throw them in. I mean, cable rows and all that are great, but you can't beat barbell rows for overall back development. Um, with the, the padded T-bar row, which allows you to have the support under your chest, uh, the reason we use this machine as opposed to doing a standard T-bar is because we just did two bent over movements. So two is, is really enough, especially since I plan to do legs tomorrow, so I don't overdo the stress in the lower back. But that pad allows me to move a little further up and really kind of um, put a strong emphasis on the stretch at the bottom of the movement and focus on really opening up my scapula at the bottom. I really think that's important to really uh, develop that back width.